Have you ever wondered why some internet users seem to derive pleasure from inciting anger and frustration in others? These individuals, often known as trolls, have been part of our online landscape since the birth of the internet and social media. But not all trolls are created equal, and today we delve into the evolution of the troll, from the classic to the predatory. In the early days of the internet, we saw the rise of what we now term as classic trolls. These are individuals who, hidden behind the anonymity of their screens, provoke and defame other online users seemingly at random. Unlike the trolls of folklore, they don't live under bridges, but they do have a knack for getting under people's skin. Classic trolls tend to operate solo, rarely rallying their online peers to join in their digital onslaught. Their motivation? A cocktail of power, recognition, acceptance and control. The primary goal is simple to incite their chosen target to anger. Once they have achieved this, they typically move on, seeking out another victim for their next bout of online antagonism. But despite their disruptive presence, classic trolls are not typically the source of habitual or severe defamation, slander, and libel. They are more like pesky gnats than dangerous predators, their main impact being to cause their targets feelings of anger, frustration, and anxiety. Moreover, the scope of a classic troll's attack is often limited to the individual they have targeted. They rarely extend their efforts to involve the target's job, family members, or loved ones. Their focus is on the one-to-one -one interaction, the personal satisfaction derived from successfully agitating another online user. But as the digital world evolved, so too did its trolls. The classic troll, while still present, is now often overshadowed by a more malicious breed, the predatory troll. This new generation of trolls takes the classic model and cranks it up to a whole new level, but that is a story for another time. So, whether you've encountered a classic troll in your online travels, or simply wondered about the motivation behind their actions, understanding their origins and motivations can offer valuable insights. Remember, knowledge is power. And in the digital world, it can be a vital tool in navigating the murky waters of online interactions. And as we continue to evolve our online communities and behaviors, we must strive to foster an environment of respect and understanding, rather than antagonism and anger. Because at the end of the day, we're all just people behind screens, trying to make sense of this digital world we inhabit.